Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball 2023 with the Sacramento Kings. And you may be able to hear it in my voice, but I am under the weather. But I'm going to grind through because that's what I do. Um, so before we get into this, I'm really, really bad at the self-promotion. You guys know that. Um, but if you are watching this video, this episode, this far into the, the series and you haven't joined my discord yet join my discord um it's <laughs> growing small uh slowly uh, there's about 40 people in it but uh it's fun i enjoy it got some good people in there we have some good good conversations so join the discord i'll put the link below anyway uh so december there was uh some good some bad in december and we'll start with the good uh the good is if you look at our schedule we are 20 and 16 um, the month of December was pretty good to the Sacramento Kings. We started with a loss to Houston, but then we proceeded to win eight straight games. We won eight of our first nine, and we lost four of our last five. So, um, nine and five in the month of December. I mean, I'll take it. I mean, that's a good month. Um, and that kind of leads into the bad. The bad coincides with this losing streak. We got hit pretty damn hard with the injury bug. Uh, we already knew DeMar DeRozan. He's out for another month or so with an injury. Uh, we lost Leon Smith for two months with a broken nose. Uh, it seems a little unrealistic given, you know, what these guys will put on their face and the masks and whatnot. But we lost our rookie uh, for the next two months. and He was having a really nice season. So that's going to stunt his development a tad. But, you know, hopefully we'll get him back. And then we lost Keegan Murray for about three weeks. So we're down you know, our starting small forward and then the man who was expected to, to be our offensive punch off the bench, and the man who was expected to be our defensive punch off the bench. So that that hurts. Um, so it leaves me with an interesting scenario. Like I, I've talked about wanting to trade Miles Turner and I still do. Um, but is it at the detriment of a potential playoff push? I mean, you look at the standings, we're in first place in the Pacific Division. Now, granted, that's tenuous. None of the teams in the Pacific are particularly good. But we're currently in first place in the Pacific Division. So is is trading Miles Turner at this point cutting off our nose despite our face? I, I don't know. I think for the long-term health of the Kings, it's the right move. Um, he's not particularly happy. He doesn't like the team. He's an, out, an outsider. He doesn't particularly like the coach. So... I mean, I feel like it's probably the right move still, but it is going to leave us even more shorthanded. Hopefully we can sort of hang on. And there were a couple of deals that I had looked at. The one that I had confirmed, and I haven't clicked um, complete trade yet because I, I want to see if there's another another potential option, but it was Matt Watkins and Miles Turner for Bogdan. Uh, Bogdanovich and Peyton Pritchard and a first. Uh, it still says advantage Celtics. Yeah, okay, put the second first in there. I didn't mean to look there. So this l says it'll go through, but I don't know if they will take on his contract. So I want to see if there's a better deal in there first. Uh, and I've already gone through a handful of these teams. I stopped around here someplace. So I want to see if there's another bad contract, maybe an even worse contract that we could take on um, from a team that's potentially... So the Celtics look like... They're not middle of the pack. They they had a decent, decent enough record. But if we get a better draft pick by taking on a worse contract, that's probably a better option. But it's got to be one year. Like Reggie Jackson's the right, you know, the right type of player, but that two-year contract is not something I want to take on. If I'm going to do this, I want to get out from underneath uh, the money this year. Lakers don't have anybody. Memphis has John Morant on the trade block. Ooh. Ooh. Or do we just go the other way and <laughs> see what we can do about... Oh, yeah, I don't know. I would love to get someone that might be a pipe dream at the moment. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just kind of looking through the teams here to see if I can find a bad contract on a decent team that can turn into a draft pick for us. 
Because right now we just have our first, but anytime you can add a... This was $82 million over the cap. Carl Anthony Towns making $50 million. You're paying Jimmy Butler 48, D'Angelo Russell 30. Some bad financial decisions being made by the Timberwolves there. Uh, Pelicans 25 and 9 this year. Knicks 23 and 13. All NBA performer Larry, Larry Markinen on their team. I love it. Um, yeah, the Thunder not particularly good this year, which is a bit of a surprise. With Giddy and Holmgren and, and SGA, it's it's a bit of a surprise that they're not good. Hmm, interesting. Thunder. Oh, Paolo Banchero, such a good bas basketball player. Uh, Isaac, nope. Yeah, it, it, you know, we're, what we're seeing is that most of these contracts are more than one year, and that's, that's what I want to avoid. So right now it's still looking like that Celtics deal. Is the best deal. I mean, we could take on Harden for a year. Yeah, see, they're bad enough that as soon as you put that first round pick in there, they're not interested. Like, I would do this deal straight up if the Celtics won't do the other one, because it gets it, it gets that money off the books this year. I mean, we could probably even remove Watkins and still have it go through. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, we might be able to get that to go through. Um, but I want to see what else is there first. Some bad teams. Ooh, Pluskinar on the trade block for Portland. Ooh. Um, let me see something. Can you take? Turner off this. Drinking a smoothie that my wife made for me. It's delicious. But what if we did... So that's cap legal. I mean, Mazinski, Watkins, and a first for Pluskinar? I mean, is that a deal that I want to make? I give them this year's pick, and it immediately becomes... I mean, what if I took Watkins out? Because I'd like to be able to use Watkins potentially for um, uh, attached to Miles Turner. I mean, that... A great shooter, like a great shooter. Rebounding ability is pretty good. I mean, if I can do this and then I can get back into the first round by trading, by making that deal with Boston. Uh, cap legal with Maladon on there. First things first, I want to try to get that other. So that's good to know. That's good to remember. That might be a deal that I make as we get a little closer to the deadline. San Antonio, no, they're terrible. They wouldn't trade any of their picks. Scott Barnes, he's too good. Utah, it's got R.J. Barrett on the block. $34 million still for De'Aaron Fox, who, to be fair, is having a ridiculous season. Um, still think it was the right deal for us as a, as a team that was looking to sort of start over, as it were. All right, let's go back to Boston. That looks like the best deal, so let's try to... For Watkins and Turner, for Bogdanovich, Richard, and a first. Now, again, I it says they have the advantage, but it's entirely possible that they're going to come back with, uh, we don't want to take on Miles Turner's contracts. Let's just see. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That right there is what I was afraid of. Um. So, uh, 
I may have to add in a draft pick. What if I give you a first? Okay, what if I remove your first? Ask for a first a couple years down the road. Not quite enough value. So that means we're close. So if I give you Utah's second this year, they don't want to take on my... Ooh, do I just pull the trigger like this without the draft pick? Hmm. I mean, we would just immediately cut Pritchard. Bogdanovich, I, I mean, whatever, he's terrible. We'd probably cut him as well. No, we'll hang on to him so that we can... Well, actually, we'll probably hang on to both of them so that we can um, renounce their rights. Um, can we do this without Watkins? Like, that I'd be okay with. Take on the contract with Miles Turner. It looks like I'm, I might have to add a a draft pick to this. Miles Turner in a first for Bogdanovich and Pritchard. Because I really, like, I would love to get this deal. Off our team. That's really going to hamstring us for this season. And that's, I mean, ultimately that's fine, I guess. See if they have another big that like I could bring back as well. I ugh. might have to do this. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. All right. Well, it's not the deal I wanted to make, but I think it's the deal that needed to be made. So let's look at our depth chart. And I think we do end up seeing if we can make a move for Pluskinar down the road. Um, but this means that Mo Wagner is going to be our starting center here for the next... Next week or two. Uh, oh, I gotta go here, right? Um, all right, so Corey Watkins, Dermot. So we've got Bradley and Wagner as our centers, Smith and McDermott as our we just cut Bembry. I would, uh, I would rather keep Maladon since we're not going to bring Mitchell back. But yeah, it's fine. We'll release Theo Maladon. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We've got fifteen players now. All right, so we should be good. Uh, so Bradley will be our starting center. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oof. All right. So we're going to sim ahead a little bit, and then we're going to see what we can do about maybe picking up Pluskinar from Portland as we get closer to the deadline. I think that might be the plan. So let's sim some, sim some basketball here. And that gives us some more flexibility next year because if we go back and we look at our contract, we not only have $81 million on the cap next year, um, and they're all players that we want to build around, right? Bain, Smith, Murray, Angeli, Leon Smith, Mazinski, and Watkins. So, I, I mean, and if we can move Mazinski for, in a, in a first-round pick or something for Pluskinar, I mean, that becomes worth it all of a sudden. It means we might not have anything in the, in the draft, but we'll have a lot of money to spend in free agency. So, it's an option. All right, we're at home against the Lakers. 
Oof. Yeah, we're struggling right now. And, and I mean, it's not surprising given the injuries. If we were a full team right now and we weren't starting Bogdanovich and Bradley, I think we'd be in much better shape. Um, but as it stands, that's the way things are going. I don't want to start Bogdanovich, though. I want to start Watkins and I want to replace w w Wagner with McDermott. All right. Yeah, we've lost four in a row. We are still in first place, at least for the time being. Hopefully, oh no, that's not good. I am closing out with a torn knee muscle, knee ligament. Yeah, so hopefully we can just hang on until we start to get some players back. There's a win, 105-98. Desmond Bain, did that say 25 points and 16 assists for Bain? 16 rebounds. Holy crap. Esmond Bain with a monster game. 23 and 16. And Jelly with a double double. Bradley, 14 and 8. Played pretty well. Watkins, 17 points, 6 rebounds, 2 steals, 4 blocks. You like to see that. We'll get um, Keegan Murray back in a couple of weeks, which will be good. Another win. This time a big win over Miami. Smith with a great game, 32, 12, and 5. Is he any happier after that great game? Not particularly. Bradley with another solid game. Bain, 24 and 8. Yeah, he's not playing. Yeah, he had foul, foul trouble last week. 24 and 8 for him. 15 points, 8 rebounds, 13 assists, 3 steals for Angeli. Love to see that. Um, Zinski with 7. McDermott with 10 off the bench. Yeah, our bench is not nearly as deep as it was at the beginning of the season. Um, but that's that's what injuries do, right? All right, on the road where we have been an absolute train wreck. You can see we're twenty-two and seventeen overall. That means we are seventeen and six at home and five and eleven on the road. We have an injury. Who is hurt now? Bradley's out for two days. Look at all of these injuries. Holy crap! All right. Um. So Bradley will come out, and Wagner gets the start. Don't know what to do other than that, uh, um, but we'll see. And we lose. Not a surprise. Not a surprise given, down, given we're down to like eight healthy bodies right now. 116-104. Uh, Looks like Bane had another good game, though. Yeah, 32 points for Desmond. 15 of 15 from the free throw line. 23 and 7 for Angeli. Smith had 15 and 12. Watkins had 10 rebounds, but he was 0 for 9 shooting. Ugh. Just need to hold on. I think we're probably still in first. Oh, we are. We got a four-game lead. So it helps that the rest of our division is, is absolute trash, but anybody back from injury yet? Oh, yeah, we got a lot of people back. Okay, so Wagner can come out. Bradley can go back in. Murray's out for another week. 22 days without DeRozan. 50. So, yeah, we got three weeks before we get Murray and DeRozan back. That should be a huge help because Murray goes right to the starting lineup. DeRozan becomes that backup big. Um, and hopefully that, that gives us some additional depth. On the road again. Great song. We lose again. We're 22 and 19 now. Smith only six points, but he has 12 rebounds. Bain with another 20-point game. Almost a double-double for Angeli. 17, 9, and 7. Another road game. And another injury. It's hurt now. Oh, good. Another injury to a big. That's exactly what we needed right now. Uh, McDermott. Miss him. Donovich. Yeah, this is not a good team. And Jelly Bain, Watkins, McDermott, and Bradley. That is not a good team. Um, yeah. yeah. We're not good with all these injuries. I mean, it's not a surprise. But, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I don't believe... There's a way to um, fix that through scouting, like through your coaching. 
Um, I don't think that having like they should there should be a staff there should be a trainer staff here somewhere um where you can where you can impact that i i i feel uh the fact that we can't um means that it's completely arbitrary which seems not unfair i mean that's the whole point of arbitrary right is that is that it's fair to everybody because it's 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 random but um i feel like it's something you should be able to control frankly right, so smith is back yeah, I feel like injuries is something you should be able to at least have some control over. The better your staffing is, the better your um the better your your team trainer is, the more likely you are to not suffer catastrophic injuries. All right, so are we home? We're finally home again. We win. Yeah, we get back home and we win. Somebody had mentioned in one of the comments that we need to change our tactics for road games, and I don't know if that can be done. I don't know if if you can do that. I think it's like your settings are for home and road. Like I don't believe that can be changed. Um, it keeps switching to seven seconds. So if we go back here, I don't want to go to seven seconds. I want to do balanced. Passive, let's play. Uh, it encourages and allows more outside shots. Let's do switch. Let's try a switch defense. Let's switch on everything and go with a more balanced offense. Or, you know what? I th yeah, no, that's fine. Let's stick with that. So maybe that gets our big men some, some additional opportunities. I don't like the seven seconds. Do we have anybody back yet? Murray's out for one more day. All right, so it'd be nice to get a home win here against ooh, 35 and 9. Don't we lose by 9 to Cleveland? But that means we get Keegan Murray back, which is huge. Look at Bradley, 11 of 12 shooting. All right, so that's good. At least we have that on our side. Watkins. From there, uh, small forward, one, two, three, one, two, three, get Bane his minutes back. Cool. All right, let's just go with that for now. Uh, it's the 18th. We still got a couple of days before we get, um, DeMar DeRozan back. That'll be a big help. On the road again against 18-4 and four Pelicans team at home, and we win. All right, so that's a big win, getting Keegan Murray back in the lineup, changing the offense, uh, offensive and defensive structures around a little bit seemed to have helped. Murray, not a great game. Only he was 5 of 17 shooting. Look at Desmond Bain, 12 of 12 from the field. He's up to 19 points a game. His other peripherals aren't particularly good, but Great shooter, great shooter, and and we need shooting. Um, good game for Smith, twenty seven point seven rebounds, six assists, five blocks. On the road against the Grizzlies, another win. Wow, that's a tough win on the road. Murray, twenty six points, fourteen rebounds, and a tough road win against a good Memphis team. 26 points, 14 rebounds. Glad to have Keegan Murray back for sure. 22 from Desmond. 14, 9, and 4 from Smith. 20 from Dougie McBuckets in 12 minutes. How many more days before we get DeRozan back? Nine. Okay. So if we made a deal for Pleskinar, I don't know where he would play. Would he be our sixth man and playing, you know, 30 minutes a game? San Antonio? Portland? I can't remember what team it was. Yeah. Is 
So there's no advantage. That's weird that it says there's no advantage there. I'd have to add. And I would be fine adding Watkins. So they have the advantage. I mean, if I can make this deal without giving up a draft pick. Sorry, I had to send a quick email. I mean, are they that anxious to get rid of him? Because this says, I mean, this feels like a no-brainer. Okay. Great. <laughs> so, wonderful. Okay. Yeah, and this is doing exactly what I want, except it's taking Bane out of the lineup at the end. Uh, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Um, I need to get him some more minutes, though. So let's do this, and then do this and this. And, and so he's at 34, 34, 38, 38. He's at 22. I need to get him more minutes. Um, we can move Murray to the power forward for some time here here as well uh that yeah that trade feels like an absolute no 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 doubter to me right like a no-brainer 100 percent so we can move him the power forward here here and then small forward here and shooting guard here yeah, that feels like a no-brainer. <laughs> get absolute crazy. We pick up two second-round picks as well as Pleskinar for our two first-round picks in our beginning in our first season, and I'm I am thrilled with that because you look at our team now. Look at some of this high-end talent we have, and it's all super young. Keegan Murray, Pleskinar, Jabari Smith, Desmond Bain, Leon Smith, Dan Angeli. Our top six players are all. Uh, incredibly young and then we can build the bench and we've got we're gonna have money in the offseason as well we're gonna have a lot of money in the offseason we're gonna have 81 million dollars locked up let's exercise the options on all these players now just so i don't forget we're gonna have i mean what's the cap 125 million dollars 100 yeah about 124 we're gonna have 40 million dollars to spend we can add an impact, impact player uh, in free agency. Speaking of free agency, let's take a look and see who the big names are coming out this year. Evan Mobley's restricted. Anthony Davis is unrestricted. Jason Tatum has got a player option. I, Celtics will probably pick that up. We can pick up Rudy Gobert. Um, again, not a lot of big men, but some really talented players in free agency this season. Let's do it this way. Anthony Davis, Rudy Gobert, Bobby Portis are the big three. Ooh, uh, Okongwu might not be a bad pickup. Great defensively. Uh, good rebounder. He might not be a bad pairing with Smith. Uh, Alperin Seng and Clint Capella. I mean, he's great. He's a great rebounder, getting up there in age a little bit. I mean, or we just take a run at Anthony Davis and say, screw it, right? I mean, we'll see. I mean, we'll see what kind of money he wants, but we should have the money to spend on someone like on someone like uh on Anthony Davis. All right. First game with the new look Kings on the road against the Spurs is a loss. That's disappointing. <laughs> A really bad Spurs team. 
Leskinar with 11 and 6 in his debut. We got we got to figure out our center position. It's got McDermott starting at center, which isn't what I want. I should have seen that. Bradley back out there. Yeah, we need Smith back badly. Uh, we are lacking at the center position pretty terribly right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, maybe Anthony Davis is is that man. Maybe Anthony Davis is that player that we make a run at in free agency. We should have the money for it. At home now against the Jazz. And it's a 126-124 victory. I'm amazed we got Pleskinar for that that package, to be completely honest with you. And Jelly, 24 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Pleskinar with 12 and 5. 20 points for Keegan Murray. A win's a win. I don't think we're going to make any other deals. I mean, that, you know, that was a pretty huge deal, picking up Pleskinar. Pistons is another win, 109-102. So, yeah, so putting Bradley in, in the lineup, I think, helps from a defensive perspective. Um, he's not going to score, but that's fine because it gives scoring opportunities to some of uh, some of these uh, some of these other players. All right, uh, plus Gunnar, he's committing a lot of fouls. Um, I want to get him some more playing time. Uh, so I think what we do is we change. Why can't I change the sub out? Oh, okay, because I got to do it this way. Um, let's do a 26. Where can I get him more minutes? Shooting guard someplace. I mean, I I hate to just take minutes away from... I'd rather take the minutes away from Mitchell. Do this and this. And put those minutes back here. Then we can come back, go here, and yeah, okay. That's that's better. It gives Pluskinar another couple of minutes. All right. Now we're on the road against Brooklyn. That's 127-124 win. Pluskinar, there we go. 36 points for Julij, Julij Pluskinar. His first big game for us, 36 points off the bench, uh, 20 points for Angel. Yeah, look at our bench. Our bench played well. They were the only pluses. All of our starters were minus, but a double-double for Angeli. And Pluskinar, if you remember, was really the guy I wanted in the first place. Last year, but he was taken early, so I wasn't able to uh, wasn't able to pick him. But we get him, we get our man eventually. Oh, I don't want to play the game. I don't want to sim the game. Where is it right here? Ooh, a fifteen point loss. All right, so January ends with us five games over five hundred. Bain with 34, plus Gennar with 22. We should still be comfortably in first place. Four and a half games up on Phoenix. We are uh, one, two, three, four. We're in fifth place in the conference. I mean, we have an opportunity to 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 make some hay here, but like this has to get better. Like be nine and sixteen on the road is just unacceptable. Um we have one first round pick this year. Let's check our messages. Rookie of the month, Dan and Jelly. Let's do a press conference. Uh, it was a tough loss. Um, we like Mike Brown. Uh, have you noticed a change? Uh, his agent was evasive when asked about his future. Have you noticed a change in his attitude? Jabari's going to be just fine. We love having him here, and I hope he'll be here for a long time. So we do get a, at least hopefully a small bump in attitude adjustment from Jabari Smith. 
That's a 17. Is fine with the organization. He's fine with the coach. He doesn't like the team. I don't know what to do about that. He doesn't get along with Wagner, Mitchell, Murray, or Angeli. So maybe in the offseason, we try to find somebody that Jabari Smith gets along with because Wagner and, and Mitchell will both be gone. So maybe we find somebody that he gets along with. Um, is there some way that we can identify that? We talk to Jabari Smith. Playing style, your attitude. Yeah, okay. I was hoping maybe there would be a way that says, you know, what can we do to make things better for you or something like that. Uh, yeah, let's just sim do the deadline at this point, and then we'll take a look at the stats, and, and we'll call it an episode. So no games here. Home game against the Rockets. 20-point win. Desmond Bain led the way with 28. Murray with 27 and 10. Smith had 14 rebounds. Plus Gunnar. Yeah, this is what I was hoping for. Plus Gunnar with 26 off the bench. Oh, we should have... Yes, let's go. Mar DeRozan back out there, baby. 100%. Yeah. Again. Ooh, and we give up a buck 30 to Denver. DeRozan, his first game back, he has 12, so that's nice to see. Bain, 23 and 8. And Jelly with a double double. When is the deadline? Oh, I have two injured players. Mitchell and, yes, Smith. Uh, key dates. Probably the 7th or the 8th or something. The 8th, yeah. So we got a couple of days here. We're not going to make any deals. We made the deals we were going to make. Bringing in Pleskinar, sending out um, a very unhappy... What's his name? I've already forgotten his name. Another loss. Ugh. Another loss, this one on the road to Phoenix. Bain had 21. Bradley is hurt. Oh, he's out for 14 days. So we literally don't have a big man now. Um, we have four free agents. And Plumley. Guess we can bring in Plumley and make him our Let's do this. Let's do power forwards too. That doesn't change. Alright. Um Yeah, we'll bring in Plumley. And for the time being, Mason Plumley comes in right off the right off the street. Will move into a starting role for us. Um, we are, however, going to give a lot of those minutes to Mar DeRozan. Right, let's see if we see any wacky deals. Brogdon for I saw Brogdon for Tobias Harris. It's an interesting deal. Uh, Kai Jones, Jaden Spring. For James Harden, a first and a second. Uh, Vic Williamson, Quigley. For Gafford, a first and a second. Malcolm Brogdon for Tobias Harris. I guess we probably should have waited until after the trade deadline, right? Because then there might be a better option from players who are released. All right, so we're at home against the Warriors today. And we win 118-109. to 109. Miles Turner is on the move again. That didn't take long. We'll look at that deal in a second. Uh, so DeRozan with 24, plus Gennaro with 15 off the bench. I mean, can't ask for more than that. 25 points for Bain. 
Smith with 10, Murray with 19. Uh, transactions. This video's gone a little longer than I would have liked, but that's okay. Colin Sexton for Christian Wood in a second. Harrison Barnes in a first. Uh, to the Bulls. Miles Turner for Dylan Brooks in a second. Okay, so this is the last game before the last day before the deadline. We don't have any games. So that is that. From a standings perspective, we are still sitting in first place. We're three and a half games up on Phoenix. We're 30 and 25. We are still in fifth place, a game and a half out of fourth. No, we're in fourth. I take that back. We are in fourth, a game and a half out of third. Interesting. Okay. Statistically. Bain leading us at 19.9 a game. Plus Gunnar is averaging 17 and 6 with us. Uh, his, I mean, it's it doesn't... It, it, I wish it said, like, this is how he's doing for you, this is how he's doing for them, but it looks like the points are right about the same because he was at 17.5 with Portland. He's at 17.6 for the year. So, uh, Keegan Murray, 17 points, 9 rebounds. He's right in line with, with where we expect him to be. Jabari Smith's numbers are down a bit, but he's unhappy. I'm hoping we can fix that next season. Uh, and Jelly, 13 points, 8 assists a game, giving us exactly what we want. DeRozan's finally back and healthy. 12 and a half off the bench. Dougie McBuckets has done a nice job. Tony Bradley has done a nice job. Pressed into action, 9.6 rebounds and a block. Get Leon Smith back in a month. And, yeah, let's look at the league leaders really quickly. Like, really quickly. Trey Young, 35 points a game. Also leads the league. Oh, he's second in the league in assists now. And Jilly's up to ninth in the NBA in assists. Rebounds per game. Evan Mobley, we don't have anybody in the top 20. Steals per game, we don't have anybody in the... Uh, we got Dan and Jelly, who's number 20. Blocks per game. Oh, we got Leon Smith at 16 and Jabari Smith at 18. Uh, field goal percentage, Rudy Gobert shooting 75%. Max Struess of the Celtics leads the NBA. We got McDermott and Bain, third and fourth. Free throw percentage, Desmond Bain shooting 93% from the charity stripe. Triple doubles, Luka Doncic. So guys, that's going to do it. I'm going to sim through the rest of the regular season here offline. When we come back, it will be the playoffs. And hopefully, your Sacramento Kings will be involved. Thanks for watching, guys. And join the Discord. I'll talk to you soon.